Ladies and gentlemen, you all know my first guest tonight as the Emmy Award winning star of The Good Wife. She now plays a doctor trying to stop the spread of Ebola in the hot zone. Ebola Zaire. One of the deadliest viruses on Earth. Similar symptoms as Marburg, but instead of killing 30% of its victims, it kills 90. Ho, ho, ho! Please welcome back to The Late Show, Juliana Margulies. Nice to see you again. It is so nice to be here. You know, I, I, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to them. I'm as the son of an immunologist. I, I'm looking forward to this hot zone heat because I was taught to be afraid of other people's germs at a young age. <laughs> we were talking about it backstage. Is that you, yeah. kn you know, you don't shake hands, you bump elbows when you're an immunologist, right? Yes. When, when you're working in one of these hot zones, right? Yeah. And when you're working in the hot zone, the the doctor that I studied under in the, to learn all the lab stuff, who's yes. actually the Nancy Jacks, who I play. She's um, what I. I think she's an American hero. Um, is it a true story? This is a true story. Okay. This is um, based on a true story. It's, the book is called The Hot Zone by Richard Preston. Mm -hmm. And this happened in 1989 on U.S. soil. Mm -hmm. um, there was an Ebola outbreak in a Reston monkey house. Wow. And, um, that sounds fun if you just listen to the title. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a good bar. You guys going to the Reston monkey house? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> or, I, uh, I just made, I made light of what could have been a terrible pandemic. I apologize. The, I threw the, you off no, your No, the game truth there. is, if you don't, I mean, you have to, because it is devastating. Yeah. What, what's going, I mean, what's amazing, and the reason I did this project, is because I, when I, when I read the book, I couldn't believe this actually happened and none of us knew about it. None of us knew about it because the CDC didn't want anyone, there, there would have been a major uh, pandemic. People would have been rushing to get out of Virginia because mm -hmm. Ebola Zaire has a 90% fatality rate. Right. There is no vaccine. There is no cure. There is now a vaccine for Ebola. I know way too much stuff about, you know, I, I don't want to bore you all. <laughs> no, not at all, but you, the, 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 <laughs> you're, you're educating me and now I know to get out of Virginia is what I got. Um. <laughs> I should get, get, get out of Virginia! <laughs> get out! By the way, would you like any? Just this conversation makes yes. me want to have a little Purell. 100%. Would you like a little? <laughs> That's all right. let, but... let, let's, go, let's come back to more hot zone in just a moment. Okay. Uh, just one moment. Let's take a little break from the pandemic for just a moment. I, I'll, I'll just, I'll just, uh, I'll just say one thing. This is the, these are the ads that I'm seeing up everywhere <laughs> of you in, in, uh, in the hot zone right there. And I will say that based upon this ad right here, you have a type now, a type of thing. You are a woman who has just had it. <laughs> Good wife, Ebola. I've had it. Fine, I'll fix it. <laughs> I am yeah. fed up. You 100%. Now, the last time you were here, Good Wife was still on in 2016. And, yes. And, and, uh... I think I came with Christine and Matt. Yes, you did. Yep. Yes, you yep. did. Um, it, it, a lot has changed since 2016. A lot on our cultural and political landscape. Yes, thank you. How have you... How have you dealt... How have you dealt with, uh, the, the change in our political landscape? You know, the, it's sort of... Politics sort of swallowed the national conversation. I started drinking. <laughs> is there, is there <laughs> oh, awesome! I mean, if we're going down, we may as well be drunk. <laughs> I don't have I don't have any ice. I'm afraid. That's okay. I like it neat. Mm. Mm. Neat and have a clean little bit like here. my man. There you go. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Here's to better times. 
That's nice. It's smooth. Tasty stuff. Tasty stuff. Now, um, so uh, do, do you do you uh, do you divorce yourself from the whole no. political thing? No, I try you, to. You tried. It's not but easy. But I can't. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. I mean, one of the things I stopped doing was I do not uh, read the news at night because I I was waking up. Um, in the middle of the night from nightmares of just screaming. I had one dream. Oh. I know. You've read my dream diary. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, it, like, I was in a boardroom. There was a long board, there was a long table, and it was just the guy who's in the Oval Office right now sitting there, and I walked in, and I was screaming, screaming, don't you care about the next year? I mean, I was going crazy and screaming at him and mm -hmm. yelling, and that was... 2016, and I woke up in a sweat, and I went, oh, my God, I've gone insane, and I have to stop reading the news at night. Oh. So I read the New York Times in the morning. Yeah. I listen to NPR. I know I'm such a New Yorker, but that's what I do because I want to be informed, and then occasionally I'll watch PBS NewsHour, mm -hmm. occasionally, because I want to get... get yourself to go to sleep, just to get you right... But no... <laughs> just a little nembutal. <laughs> no, because it's right on it. Seven. Sure, and then right to sleep. Uh, sleep and, and I go to sleep, Stephen, I don't know about you, but I go to sleep around 10, 11. Oh, okay, yeah. Depending. Well, I'm much older than you are. Older than you <laughs> Not are. really. Well, before we go, let's leave this on a high note. You've, 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 you've had to learn a fair amount to do the hot zone. You've spoken to people who actually are concerned about global pandemics. Yes. Were you reassured or were you uh, terrified <laughs> by what you learned? That's a great question. Thank you. And I would tell you um, <laughs> uh, both. Oh. Um, so I'm reassured. I'm reassured <laughs> that I'm this terrified. <laughs> I'm right to be this panicked. Let me explain. I am reassured that some someone a, a, a studio like Nat Geo is shedding light on such an important problem. This is a global issue. This is not something that just happens in Africa. It's not about when this is going to, if this is going to happen on the U.S. soil again. It's when. What I'm reassured... Stay with me. <laughs> what... So, it, it, so shedding light on it, it's on the cover of the New York Times today for the first time, where usually it's back in page 18. Sure. Um, finally, we're shedding light on a global problem, and we need to support our scientists and stop denying science. <laughs> I go that. And so I'm I'm encouraged by the work that's going behind, even though we're constantly being told, no, I know science. Mm -hmm. um, and most importantly, stay out of Virginia. <laughs> no, go to Virginia. You're gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> the Hot Zone premieres next Monday on National Geographic. Juliana Margulies, everybody. We'll be right back with Admiral William McRaven.